I think the PDC Wiz is probably the world's most compact Visca controller with IP connectivity. So this little box connected with PoE will send Visca commands to the new tech camera just beside me right here. And uh, it also does something else. It actually communicates with a video switcher in the background as well. So um, the video switcher is an ATEM switcher. And uh, as I press these buttons, uh, one, two, three, and four, I'm selecting sources onto the preview row. So the idea of the PDC Wiz controller would be that as you select the source for preview row, which would be the one that you, you go to when you press the cut button, you also select that one as the camera you operate with the uh, joystick pad and the zoom rocker on the PDC Wiz. So let's see how that works. And uh, here's the controller again, and we'll just bring up the ATEM software control. So you can see as I press these buttons, I am indeed selecting sources on the preview bus. And when I press the cut button, I am cutting between these sources as well. Okay, so uh, I also have two cameras hooked up. So you can see when I press number one and number two, those two cameras are activated because when I press number three and number four, the light goes out in these buttons. So that's my indication that I have two cameras, two robotic cameras connected on the network. Okay, and one of the robotic cameras is the one that you see right now. So uh, you can see that as I press this button, I am able to zoom with this one. And if I press harder, I'm zooming quicker. Now that camera is so close that I uh, need to be careful to, um, to not zoom too far without having... Um, yeah, then it will get out of focus easily. Yeah, it is out of focus now. No problem. Okay, so I also have my joystick over here, and with the joystick, of course, I can operate the camera. It is uh, actually pressure sensitive, so when I press just lightly, it's, it's moving slowly. If I press harder, it's moving a little quicker, and uh, I can go back again. Now, this joystick is not really as accurate as a normal analog joystick, but it is pretty good for the small size it has, and it may be just what you need when you have a production like this that would be based on presets. So this controller even gives you access to presets because we put a shift key on it. So again, if you look at the keypad, you see we have one to four, which would be like four cameras for nice little small production. And then we have the cut auto button, uh, by the way, uh, auto is what you get when you press the upper edge of the button because this is a four-way button. So the lower edge is cut, the upper button is auto, and uh, that's how it works with four-way buttons. They are so flexible. Now, the shift key, when you press the shift key, you get into a mode where you have access to the presets right here. Now, I already put a preset on number one. So when I press one, you see the camera adjusts to this preset. Now, let's just make a different preset. So I zoom a little bit. And I also use the joystick here to move the camera. Okay, so this is not pretty, but it's a preset we could store. So now I will uh, hold the shift key and press and hold this button until it becomes green. And I have now stored that preset on number two. Using the shift key, I can now recall preset number one. I can recall preset number two. I can go back to preset number one by recalling this button and so forth. No surprise, but I think the surprise is that you get all this in this little compact controller for small four camera live productions based on robotic cameras. And those cameras doesn't have to be an NDI camera from NewTek. It could be PDC Optics, it could be Lumens, IDA cameras, Sony cameras, Panasonic cameras. No problem, because all the device cores you see in the Skyhoy ecosystem will be available for the PDC West controller. No problem. The final thing we didn't look at yet are the encoders on the controller and they can be mapped to all settings that you want to adjust in the camera. So in the case here, I have set the left encoder up to exposure mode and the right encoder to a vari variety of different settings, which is accessed by using the uh, edge of the shift key. So the shift key being a four-way button will allow me to cycle through these, while if I press the lower edge, I have access to the presets, which we have already discussed um, but if I press here, as you can see, I'm cycling through various options. So for instance, if I go to, um, to shutter speed right there, that would be available to me if I go to the shutter speed in the manual exposure mode and I can now adjust shutter speed of the camera. Okay, that was the PTC Wiz, super compact little controller for IP control uh, of Visca cameras and uh, ATEM switches or any other production switcher system simultaneously and integrated. Let's get this